Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy back again. Welcome to Ed Lee's Scound Laboratory. Well, the reason I'm making this video, um, on your connections on your Tesla setup here, I want to show you the difference when you, I'll show you from the start here, okay? So basically, out of the wall, into a rheostat on one leg, on the positive leg, going in and out of a capacitor, coming into a car coil, coming out of the car coil, going into the end here um, of my quarter inch, 50 feet long primary. And what I'm showing you guys here is this is a uh, inductive coupling here. And I could um, change that and vary that um, to stop the breakout. But right now, I just want to show you the breakout. I would separate a little further apart, but I want you to see the breakout. So to tune it up better, you would dial that down. So that's one entry of tuning into your primary. And then coming out of your primary on the tail end, um, I got it hooked up to over here on the spark gap. And then the other end of the spark gap is going to earth ground. And notice on this side, I have also another inductive connection and it is the bottom of the secondary. Now the bottom of the secondary is supposed to go to ground. So what I'm doing is I'm sending in this way, coming out tail end, taking the inductive collapse of the secondary and sending it in conjunction um, along with the tail end of my primary down into my spark gap out into the, to the ground. So I just wanted to show you um, that and also what else I would show you is with that inductive area there, you can see how it slowed down there. It, it, it makes the top tension a lot stronger. So um, now it's just about dialing in. In fact, this is an incomplete system. I'm still loading up my, hmm, where did they go? <clears throat> Here they go. These are going to be my two setups for my capacitors. And I'm using dual capacitors. These are going to be uh, set up individually. So I'll have connections on the outside here. And I'll be able to connect one at a time, two at a time. Or I'll be able to go the whole bang. So I can make my capacitor, capacitors variable. And I'll be able to use that to build up my residency here in between my primary and my secondary and my top load there. Um, one thing I did uh, notice about the top load is this one here is just not going to really work. I'm using a bicycle rim in there and the fact that I'm adding metal is that uh, not a good thing. You can't, I, I, I can have the aluminum, but I can't have iron in that wheel up there. You can see my wheel turns. But, um, yeah, and then these coils just sitting on there. They're picking up majorly. All them wires combined over here. It's picking up a great big charge. And, uh, well, there's two of your connections, guys. Peace. 